What's good everybody? This is Blade Reviews. We're hitting you with all these movie reviews, but on a higher level. I'm Kay. And I'm Eddie Rick. And hey, new to the channel, why don't you do us a favor, hit that subscribe button, join the Blaze crew, or stay getting stoned off of everything movie related. And as for today's movie review session, we gotta take a hit of the latest sci-fi fiction thriller film rolled up nice and tight by somebody I don't know. And that joint being Replicas. And Replicas follows Will, Will Foster, who is a scientist specializing in synthetic biology, who is tasked with bringing back soldiers into robotic bodies and stuff. But once his family dies, he decides to use that technology to save his family and bring them back as replicas. So now he has to avoid his bo businesses, bosses, government, yada, yada, yada. This movie sucks. But I mean, going to this movie, what kind of got you lit to go see it and stuff? Well, I mean, Keanu Reeves is riding a hot streak, uh, not just with John Wick, but some of his uh, cult films are yeah. also kind of hitting. Um, he's turning into a formidable all-around filmmaker, I think, yeah. uh, with his production credits uh, and his cre you know, his total creativity. Mm -hmm. I think since the um, that Japanese movie he did, um, he played like a samurai or whatever. Oh, Four, know, 47 yeah, Ronin. Yeah, that, it's terrible. Since that, that yeah, <laughs> since that debacle, he's really like kind of come back. I yeah. think I think Man of Tai Chi was pretty good. Mm -hmm. Like I think that was a solid film. I believe he directed it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think the John Wick stuff really helped revitalize his career. Oh and stuff yeah, like his that. profile's back back on top. Yeah, because he was the, yeah. he was the Matrix, and then he was producing like a whole bunch of crap, and then yeah. John Wick kind of came and revitalized his career, mm -hmm. but. Maybe Replicas is another one of those John Wicks that just helped his career out. I've kind of spoiled that a little bit earlier. It's not. But let's find out why it's so bad by getting all the highs and downers I got from seeing Replicas. Because you didn't get a chance to see it or not yet. No, I didn't. But I'll let you know if it's worth going Blaze to go see it or not. So let's start off by, with some positive notes and get to some of the highs I got from it. And I guess the first high I got, I guess, would be, I guess, Keanu Reeves. He tried in this movie. Every movie he does come in, he gives a little bit of effort mm -hmm. into it. He was the only one, I think, that really gave his all in this movie. Right. But unfortunately for him, I think he just had a terrible time picking scripts or something. Yeah. Either his crew does, or he had a terrible job picking scripts, because this is not a very good movie at all. Like, other than him, he's probably the only high I got from this whole movie. Mm -hmm. Like, the script started off terribly with how bad his tone was, I guess. Oh, wow. Because, like I said, it's a sci-fi thriller or whatever, mm -hmm. but it's, like, not a sci-fi thriller at all. Oh, man. It starts off, like, five minutes into it, joking around, breaking up every moment of tension with some cheesy joke by discount T.J. Miller, I think. What's his name? Oh, uh... Discount T.J. Miller. Thomas Middleton. Oh, Middleton. oh man. Yeah, his, his character in the movie is literally there to just break up every moment of tension. He, he, has, he has that look about him. Yeah. Like, like every time you just see him, like, he's, he's, there, to just, he's there to destroy the tones. And that's what he did in the yeah. movie. <laughs> every time some serious moment, he'll just come up, hey guys. I'm like, oh, fuck, here he comes again. <laughs> And that's like every five minutes in this movie. Like there's nothing in here that's suspenseful, nothing in here that's thrilling. And then like the story as a whole just terrible as, uh, with the whole replica thing. Mm -hmm. Like his family's dying, you don't really get to see that much of it. It's like flashback well, kind of stuff. Well, that's like seven pounds. That was mm -hmm. the same thing, yeah. Yeah, and then he goes around not telling his family like they're replicas, but then like randomly they know that they're replicas later on in the movie. I'm just yeah. like, wait, what's, what's going on? Yeah. I didn't know they knew they were replicas yet, but yeah. they, they know. <laughs> And then, like, the ending of this movie is just, like, hits a... Ooh. Oh, wow. Falls off a cliff, mm -hmm. huh? You get that cheesy CEO villain and stuff like that mm -hmm. who comes in and wants to replica stuff for herself. And then the climax, I was just like, wow, this is just ended on a flat note. Oh, like, ouch, what? Ouch. But, I mean, all in all, the replica is definitely a movie you should probably skip going to go see. It got pushed. It was probably like what, 2018 movie, I think? Or something? Yeah, 2017? yeah, I think so. Uh, they, they definitely filmed it... Uh, they filmed it in 2016. Oh, wow. So, yeah. <laughs> it took three years for it to come out. Yeah. yeah. They, it was supposed to come out, I think, in 2018. And they saw it and they are like, wow, this feels like a January movie. January. Push that <laughs> shit, Because nobody's going to want to go see this shit. <laughs> they're, they're desperate. Don't be desperate and go see this movie. Find something better to do. Help some people out. Volunteer. Watch porn. Do something. But don't go see replicas. It's a past that shit for sure. Ooh. Like, I didn't get high for this at all. Mm. But I mean, hey, that's just my high opinion. What I really want to know is, what did you guys think of Replicas? I know you're not going to see it, but just tell us what did you think about Replicas going into it. Let us know by sparking it up in the comment section below. And hey, like I just said, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Join the Blaze crew where we stay getting smacked off everything move related. I'm Kay. And I'm Adi And always remember, Blaze it.